New York City is the greatest place on earth, but living here is a huge pain in the ass. Paramount to that pain in the ass is getting around the city. Many options, none perfect. The subway is good, but you have to wait around for the trains, and generally, I don't like being underground. You could drive, but traffic, tickets suck, parking is impossible, and if you do find a spot, it costs $19.43 for a half an hour. There are buses, but if you're under the age of 70, ain't nobody got time for that. I ride a bike, which is a huge pain in the ass. Always getting stolen, flat tires, and I'm always crashing into everything. Now we have bike share, city bike. So I figured I'd try it out, see how big of a pain in the ass that is. So I'm gonna test a city bike versus my personal bike versus a taxi, for good measure. Looking at four factors, comfort, speed, cost, and ease of use. All on a scale of one to 10. One being easy as pie, 10 being a huge pain in the ass. The test will be on my daily commute from my apartment in Greenwich Village to my office in Tribeca. First up is the taxi. Okay, I am now going to commute to work, taking a New York City taxi. The hardest part of taking a taxi in New York City is finding a taxi. The hardest part of using a taxi is finding one. That's a big pain in the ass. You end up chasing a car a block and a half. Look at those heels. I like your shoes. Thank you so much. How you doing? Hi. New York City taxis are very comfortable. You get your own AC control. You get TV. Comfy, yes. Cheap, no. This ride cost me $11.30. So if I did that twice a day, five days a week, 52 weeks a year, that's a pain in the ass. And speed, the ride was actually pretty quick. 14 minutes and 55 seconds. All in, the taxi got a pain in the ass factor of 23. That's a pretty big pain in the ass. Next up, my bike. I lock it right outside my house, so that's not such a pain in the ass. As long as it's not raining, it's pretty easy to use. So this bike's extremely uncomfortable. The handlebars are narrow, the seat's really hard, and the pedals never stop spinning, which makes it. Biking has always been pretty economical. Figure 300 for the bike, 80 for the lock, average about 18 months before it gets stolen, divide that by two thirds, add 50 for repairs, not bad. What this thing is is fast. There's nothing faster than racing around this city on a fixed gear. And stop. Door to door on the fixed gear, nine minutes, two seconds. All things considered, owning a bike isn't that big of a pain in the ass. Which brings us to city bike. Now, full disclosure, I'd never ridden one before and I didn't really know what to expect. Psych there's a city bike station a few hundred feet from my front door. I glossed over the directions and then got to the touch screen. It was slow and not super responsive. Plus there were way, way too many screens to cycle through. Eventually I got a code and snagged the very last bike. That process was a huge pain in the ass. It's a very smooth ride. The grips are comfy, handlebars solid, brakes feel responsive. The seat is mushy like a marshmallow. Like a grip shift situation here. It's a nice bike. I paid $10 for the day, but an annual pass is only 95 bucks. Total deal. I wouldn't call it a fast bike, but it felt sturdy. 
be safe. I gotta find a spot to put it. I did spend five minutes looking for a station to return it, which made my total commute 16 minutes and 7 seconds. I really liked the bike share, but paying and returning, it was a huge pain in the ass. When I got back to my office, I did about 30 seconds of research. It turns out if you register online, you get a key and can skip the entire touchscreen credit card mess. And there's an app showing you where to find and park the bikes. This would have saved me about five minutes. Turns out city bike's not a pain in the ass at all. It's great. All you have to do is learn how to use it.